If you have any information pertaining to this case, you may contact the Grimes County Sheriff's Office by telephone at 936-873-2151 or by email at daniel.ragnan at grimescountyso.org. On the 29th of October, 1981, at 1.40pm, the skeletal remains of a young girl were discovered inside a large plastic bag in a six feet deep ditch on the FM 244 near the Bull Creek Bridge in Iola, Grimes County, Texas. Who actually discovered the body has been misreported over the years. It was originally reported that a highway worker initially came across the body, but more recent sources have stated that after confessing to her murder, serial killer Henry Lee Lucas led the police directly to her body. My research leads me to strongly believe that Lucas was not the one who initially led police to her body in 1981, but he led the police to the area when he was taken into custody in 1984 after confessing to dumping a girl matching her description there after murdering her. The unidentified girl's cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head her skull being crushed with a heavy object, and she had been dead for between three months and five years, placing her year of death from 1976 to 1981. There was evidence of prior abuse, as she had healed fractures to several of her ribs, her breastbone and her toes. She was a Caucasian or Hispanic female between 13 and 19 years old who stood between 5 feet 1 inch and 5 feet 5 inches tall, and weighed about 110 pounds. She had red or auburn hair, extensive dental work with 13 fillings in teeth number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 12, number 13, number 14, number 15, number 18, number 19, number 29, number 30, and number 31. She was right-handed and she had never given birth. The only item on her remains was a size five and a quarter, 1904 gold St. Gordon's $20 coin that had been turned into a ring. Though it is unsure whether or not this was a replica, and these types of rings were reportedly popular in teen magazines in the 1970s and 1980s. Also found near the remains was a white towel. Inside the plastic bag with the remains was a cloth that is believed to be a mechanic's drop cloth. It was determined that the body had been stored in a cool, dry place, possibly a closet, where it was left to decompose over several months or years. It is believed that the killer, or someone who knew of the murder, thought it necessary to get rid of the body, and as such, they dumped her in the ditch. The body did not decompose in the plastic bag. More than likely, the skeleton was placed there for easy transportation. It was estimated that her body had been in the ditch for six to eight weeks before being found, though she had been dead for much longer than that. Henry Lee Lucas claimed that he and his partner, Otis Tall, picked up the girl who was hitchhiking sometime in the spring of 1981 in Durham, North Carolina, and her name was Cheryl. Cheryl allegedly travelled with them for several months before Lucas and Tool decided to murder her. Lucas said that they stopped at a rest stop in Huntsville, Texas, where he strangled Cheryl as Tool hit her in the head with a tire iron. He then stated that they put her in a trash bag and dumped her in a town with a woman's name, later being sure that town was Iola. Then he led the police to an area within six feet of where the unidentified girl's body was previously found, saying that that was where they dumped her. Of course, everything that Lucas ever said should be taken with a grain of salt. As I said earlier, Lucas was never charged with her murder, probably due to his reputation as a false confessor, and the fact that parts of his story didn't add up. Lucas said that they dumped the body right after killing her, but the evidence suggested that she had been left decomposed elsewhere 
for months to years before being dumped, and she also did not decompose in the bag she was found in. An investigator on the case theorized that the unidentified girl may have been the victim of physical abuse due to her prior fractures, and if she was still of school age, she may have dropped out. Her DNA has been in CODIS for 10 years, and there have been no hits as of June 2019. At some point in time, someone had to have cared for this girl and funded her extensive dental care. Yet still, nearly 40 years after her body was found, she remains unidentified. Over the years, several missing people have been officially ruled out as being this decedent. Please check the description for a list of these rollouts. If you have any information that may aid in the identification of this decedent, or any knowledge of the circumstances surrounding her death, check the beginning of this video again for the appropriate agency to contact.